What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a text reveal effect in Premiere Pro. Just before we get into this video, Merry Christmas to all of you, I hope you are enjoying your day and I hope Santa has got you everything you wanted. Santa's not real. So this is going to be the exact same thing I showed you the other week in Vegas Pro 15 but in Premiere Pro. Now the first thing we need to do is pick a background colour. Now to select the background I'm going to be using a shape. So I'm going to come down here to the pen tool and I'm going to come to the rectangle tool. I'm then simply just going to drag this out. As you can see it's currently red. I'm going to come to the move tool and just position this over. Now to change the colour come up to effect controls. And as you'll see right here it says shape 01. Where the fill is this is where you can change it to a colour you would like. So I'll go with a purple for this one, as you can see, purple background. The next thing you're going to do is move this off to the side a little bit, left click here, left click here so you're no longer selected on this graphic, come to the type tool and draw out a box. And here you're going to put in what you want your text to say. So I'm just going to have casual savage, I'm going to press ctrl A, on the effect controls we can come here where it says source text and change the font to something we want. So here's the font I'm going to be using, I'm also going to size it up just a little bit and I'm going to center it, then I'm going to come to the move tool, I'm going to uh, size the box down because it's too big, I'm then going to get the anchor point holding control, I'm going to drag this to the center, and we can drag this background back. So this is currently what we have, text with a background. Now once again we're going to click off it so nothing in our timeline is highlighted, and we're going to create another rectangle. So this time we're going to draw this over the text, like this. Now we also want to change this color to something which is obvious. So I'm going to just change it to a green. And it's important we do this and it will make more sense later on. We're then going to right click, insert another track, click off everything again and we're going to come to the rectangle tool again and this time we're going to draw out a line. And this is the line that's going to act as if it is revealing the text. Now for this one I'm going to have a white line, you can pick any line you want to. Now what I do recommend you do with the line though, um, keep it at the same colour as your text. Now that's optional but that's just what I recommend. So here's the next thing we're going to be doing. We're going to come across our timeline and choose how long we want it to take for the text to show. Now I'm at one second and that's where I'm going to keep it. I'm going to lay down a marker by pressing this button or you can press M on your keyboard. I'm then going to select the third graphic here and this is the green box. From here I'm going to toggle the animation on position and I'm going to drag this keyframe to the start. I'm then going to come to the uh, number on the right and I'm going to drag this to the right. As you can see it will bring it down. Then we're going to do the exact same for the graphic above and the graphic above is this white line. So we're going to toggle the position, we're going to drag the first keyframe to the start and then we're going to drag the number on the right on top of the green box. So this is now what we've just done. Okay. So, it looks good, but this green box of course is in the way. So where that graphic is, it is the third one here. Select it, come up to the effects controls, and change the colour to match your background. So once this is open, come to the colour picker, and select the background. From there it's going to select that colour, select OK. That's now disappeared, so if I play it from the beginning now, you can see it gives the illusion that the uh, text was revealed by this line. Now you'll notice when I play that through, there's this jittering line that keeps coming across. Don't worry about that if it is there on your preview, once you render it out it will not be there. Now I'll also show you very quickly how to make the text uh, slide in from the side and that is also simple. So for that we're going to start off fresh, I'm going to keep the same background but the line and that box we created we're going to delete. So this time rectangle tool again and I'm going to draw out a box. And then I'm going to change the colour of this box again to a green because it's going to be super obvious to tell where it is. Then I'm going to click off it, I'm going to come to back to the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a line down the side. This is going to be the line that will reveal the text. I'm going to come to the move tool and I'm going to position this down here. I'm then going to change this colour to white because that's what I want the colour of this line to be. Then I can highlight both of them and drag this to the start. So I still have my marker here because that's uh, one second and now I'm going to use the exact same steps I showed you before. This time we're going to drag both 
boxes to the right. So the graphic on the third track is going to be the screen box. We're going to toggle the position. We're going to drag the keyframes at the start. This time we're not going to be using the second figures here. We're going to be using the first figure and we're going to drag it off to the right, just like this. Then we're going to do the exact same to the other graphic, which is this line. We're going to toggle the position, drag this to the first keyframe, and we're going to drag this off to the right and make it match up right here. Now, if I play this through, this is what we've just done. Just like that. Now that was super fast. And what else we're going to be doing is changing this color back to um, match the background. So again, we're going to select it, which is on video track three. We're going to select the fill color. We're going to select the color picker and we're going to select the purple background. From there, we're going to select OK. That is all sorted. So if I play it through, that's now what we have. You can see super simple and super clean. But I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas and I hope this tutorial has helped you.